What's up, everybody? You're watching an episode of Extra Turns, and this is a fun one. We have some fan favorite commanders and all members of the Command Zone staff battling it out today. And Rachel, you're playing the fun one, right? Yeah, I'm playing one of my absolute favorite commanders. It's Octavia, the living Ooh, thesis. Very cool. It's a ton of fun. We also have Yoshimaru in the mix today, mm -hmm. so a lot of really sweet commanders. Can't wait to show you all. But before we get into it, let's talk quickly about our sponsors, cardkingdom.com slash command. That's where you're going to go if you want to pick up any cards for your next game night, including your reenactment of extra turns at home. Maybe you want to build one of these <laughs> sweet decks. Maybe you need to get down with the Yoshi or uh, into the oceans with Octavia. You can find all the cards, singles, sealed product, and more at cardkingdom.com slash command. Best part, you can paste an entire deck list in, get all the options to buy the cards you want, and then blam, in a single shipment, you will get your deck at your doorstep, ready to go, ready to sleeve up and play. So once again, cardkingdom.com slash command. That's the place to go if you want to support the show and get the cards you need. You can also support the show by going to ultrapro.com slash command to pick up all of the magic accessories that you need to go with all of your decks. Sleeves to keep them safe, deck boxes for storage, binders for your valuable extra mm -hmm. cards. All of that is available and more at ultrapro.com. Com. Plus, they have awesome deals all the time. So if you're in need of a bunch of deck boxes or you want to upgrade the deck boxes that you're using, keep an eye on ultrapro.com because they always like they get these crazy deals that I find out about in the newsletter. I'm like, oh, I guess I'll buy like four deck boxes today. That are 50% off yeah. or whatever crazy thing it is. Yeah. So make sure that you are following their newsletter to keep up with their great deals and also uh, for secret lair drops. Every once in a while, they'll get a group of play mats that are tied to a secret lair and they go fast. So you yeah. have being on the up and up and finding out what products that they have in stock. Make sure that you get the play mats that you want at your game table. Again, go to ultrapro.com slash command to support the show and pick up some super cool merch. Heck yeah. Okay, well, let's get right into the game. Mm -hmm. No more waiting. Extra turns battle off four amazing players and commanders. Let's go. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Extra Turns. Today I'm playing one of my favorite decks. It's Octavia Living Thesis. This is a Spellslinger deck. I've got a ton of cheap instants and sorceries to help me play my commander early. Then, once she's in play, those spells will turn all my evasive value creatures into giant combat threats. With all that attacking power, no one will be able to stop my octopus onslaught. Hello out there, it's me, Arthur, and I'm back, and I'm playing Vazi, Keen Negotiator. This is a really chaotic ramp deck that wants to give everyone plenty of treasure and draw lots of cards for myself. Then, once I draw into a real haymaker, I can wipe out my opponents in one surprise swoop. Hey, it's Jamie back again, and today I'm gonna be playing Kineo Sintiro of Miletus. This is a multicolored matters deck featuring 50 multicolored cards. And I've got a ton of ways to keep drawing into them, from landfall triggers to cast triggers. So if I can keep my hand full and play a board of colorful beaters, I'll have everything I need to bring home the gold. And I'll be playing the partner pairing of Yoshimaru and Rograk, a deck I like to call Dograk. This is a low to the ground Legends Matter aggro deck. I plan to get Yoshimaru out on turn one, then buff him by playing non-stop cheap legends. Then, once I've got a very big and very good boy, I'll sick him on my opponents and take him out with commander damage. All right, let's do this. Let's fight. Let's play. Catch. Loop. <laughs> <laughs> all right, everybody ready? Heck yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, let's do this. I sure am. All right, I'll draw for turn. I'll play Mountain and just a little turn one Ragavan. Uh oh. Oh, wow. Uh -oh. Your go, Rachel. All right, I will draw for turn. Play an Island and pass. Okay, I'll draw, uh, I'll play a Rejuvenating Springs and I'll pass the turn. All righty, untap upkeep draw. I will play a Plains and then I'm gonna play my commander. Yoshimaru, ever faithful. Good, good, good boy. Good boy, very good. good boy. Go ahead. I'll untap and and I'll draw. Combat time. Okay, Jordan. One, I'd love to see what you got on top, and two, I want to see if you'll trade with it. You're gonna regret this. <laughs> okay. I need a first enemy. <laughs> Is it gonna be you? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jordan, 2-1 Ragavan. Yeah, Arthur, I mean, what else am I gonna do? <laughs> I'm not gonna block it with my commander. Come on, I'll take two. 
going to 38. On combat damage, Ragavan triggers, and can you exile top card of your library? Yeah, let's see what you get. Bam! It's Clever Concealment. I will not be able to play that. Yep. I, can, I can tell you that now. And also, I'll get a treasure token. Bing! And then, I'll play a forest, and I'll tap it for a beautifully hand-drawn Birds of Paradise. Aw, it's cute! And I'll pass turn to you, Rachel. All right, I will draw for turn. I'll play a Castle of Antris as my land for turn, and then I will cast an Ornithopter of Paradise. All right, I'll pass. Okay, I'll draw. I'll play Spectator Seating. Uh, I'm gonna tap both. I'm gonna play Scheming Fence. Oh. As Scheming Fence enters the battlefield, I may choose a non-land permanent. Uh, I'm choosing Ornithopter of Paradise. So that mine is a mana dork and yours is not. That is an act of war. <laughs> <laughs> I feared it would be. I will pass the turn. All right, I will untap. I will upkeep and then I will draw. I am going to play a Cora Haven. Sweet. When Cora Haven enters the battlefield, it's a legendary land. So that is going to put one counter on my very good boy, Yoshimaru. Then I am going to play Rograk for zero, which nice. will put another counter on Yoshimaru making him a 3-3. Then I'm gonna move to combat, Yep. and Yoshimaru is going to come at Rachel. Um, no blocks. I'll take three. I will go to 37. All right, in my second main phase, I will pay two, and I'm gonna play an Arcane Signet, and then I will tap the Arcane Signet for one white, and I'm gonna play an Esper Sentinel. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. And then I will pass the turn. Okay, untap. Drop. Okay. Jordan, I'm gonna swing at you again. Oh, come on. All right, I will take two damage. Going to 36. Okay, Ragavan trigger again. I will make a treasure token. And Jordan, can you exile top card of your library? Yeah, let's see what you got. Bam, it's Jessica, thrice reborn. I suppose I won't be casting that because it would enter with zero loyalty. I haven't cast my commander. Be much better in a deck where you cast two commanders on turn one, wouldn't it? <laughs> I'll play Verdant Catacombs as land and pass to you, Rachel. Mm, we'll untap with my Ornithopter. We'll play an island and then I will cast a Windrider Wizard. Ooh. And then I will pass the turn. Okay, I will untap. I will draw a card. Okay, I think there's perhaps not a ton to think about this turn. I'm gonna play a planes, and then I am going to tap out using my scheming fence because he does add mana. And cast my commander, Kineo Sintero. Hey! Nice! The boys are back in town. With that, I will go to my end step, and my commander will trigger. First, I will draw a card. Uh, then I can put a land into play, and I will do so. It's this Rogren Triumph. Jordan, any land for you? No! Okay, <laughs> you get to draw a card. Oh boy. Yeah, I'll put a land into play. And Rachel? I'll put a land into play. Group hug. Uh, and now that that's done, uh, my turn's over. Go ahead. All right, I will untap and upkeep and draw. And I'm gonna play Shatter Skull, the hammer pass, flipped. And then I'm gonna pay the three life so that it can come into play untapped. Taking my life total to 33. Then I'm gonna pay three, and I'm going to cast Resourceful Defenses. Oh, yikes. Mm -hmm. And then I'll follow that up with my boy, Kithian, hero of Akros. When Kithian enters the battlefield, because he's a legendary permanent, that'll put a 1-1 counter on Yoshimaru. So now, he's a 4-4 dog. Then, I will move to combat, and this time, Arthur, Yoshimaru's coming at you. All right, no blocks. All right, that's four commander damage. I will take four. Going to 36. Pass the turn. All right, Jordan, on your end step, I will crack my Vernon Catacombs and I will search my library. I will find a stomping ground and that will come into play tapped. I will lose one life. Going to 35. And still on your end step, Jordan, I'm going to cast Valakut Awakening. Would you like to pay the Esper Sentinel trigger? Go ahead and draw, Jordan. Woohoo! And I will put two cards on the bottom of my deck. So I will be drawing three cards. Not bad. And then I will go to my turn. I'll untap these and draw this card. Kick off with a reflecting pool and soul rune. Gross. Siren noise, siren noise. As per Sentinel trigger? Go ahead and draw. I will not pay one. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to cast Vazi Keen Negotiator. And then I will go to combat. Rachel, I would like to attack you for two with Ragavan. Needless aggression. No blocks. I will take two, going to 35. And Ragavan will trigger. All right, I will exile an island. Can't cast that, but I will get a treasure. All right, next up, I'll tap Birds of Paradise, play a Quirion Ranger, and then I will pay four using the three treasures for a big score. Mercifully, it doesn't you trigger as percent. No. As an additional cost, I will discard a Phyrexian Reclamation. Mm-hmm. 
And I will draw two cards and also make two more treasure tokens. So you've made three total treasure this turn? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So because my Fozzie has haste, I will activate her. And because I've made three treasure tokens this turn, let's give Jordan three treasure because I feel like I gave you so many cards. So now you need mana to play all those cards. Treasure. I think Arthur is trying to bribe me into not being his enemy anymore. Mm -hmm. Three beautiful golden Josh Lee treasures. Next, I'm going to activate Quirion Ranger. I will return a force to my hand and untap target creature. I will target Vazi, Keen Negotiator. And let's give Rachel three treasure. Y'all, we gotta not use these treasures until <laughs> Vazi's off the table. <laughs> I'm in agreement, but I'll take three. I just <laughs> wanna see the cool cards you gotta play, man. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. yeah, you too, Rachel. Uh -huh. Rachel, go ahead. All right, I will untap and draw for turn. I'm going to cast a Factor Fiction. Ooh, nice. nice. Would you like to play the Esper Sentinel trigger? I will pay for it using a treasure token. And because my commander only cares about casting spells and activating abilities, I don't draw off of that treasure. A loophole! My poor, poor Esper Sentinel. <laughs> Thank goodness there's an Esper Sentinel on my opponent's board. <laughs> that triggers my Windrider Wizard, so I will draw a card and then discard a card. Okay. I will discard a Psionic Blast. Sweet card. Nice. Okay, uh, I will choose... Jamie, I, f I feel like we're... Our war we're, is over. We're okay. <laughs> we're okay, right? Yes, it was right. a good War. Jamie, I'm gonna reveal these five cards. Put them into two piles. Okay. Pretty. First, I will make it so I can see them. We have oh. Island, Cloak of Feathers, Archmage Emeritus, Windfall, and Shadow Rift. Woo! Good cards. Yeah. I, I mean, my myself. thoughts are that Archmage Emeritus is real good. Windfall's pretty solid too, but... I'm gonna do Archmage Emeritus and the Island versus the three spells. That is fair. I will take the Archmage and the Island. Good. Selection. Thank Look how you. shiny all those are. Thank you. <laughs> all right, then I will play this island as my land for turn, and I will pass. Okay, I'll untap, I'll draw a card. All right, I'm going to pay a green and a white, and I'm going to play Trace of Abundance, enchanting my Rogren Triumph. Uh, it gives it Shroud. <laughs> And I will pay the one for the Esper Sentinel. Okay. Then I will tap my Rogren Triome and have my bonus mana be green to play a Nature's Lore. Then I will search my library. I will find a Breeding Pool. I will have it enter the battlefield untapped, so I will pay two life. <laughs> going to 38, and then I will tap my Breeding Pool and my Scheming Fence of Paradise, <laughs> and I'll play a Rampant Growth. Nice. Ooh. <laughs> then I will search my library yet again. All right, Jamie's ramping. Mm -hmm. Good setup turn. This time I will find a basic land. I will get a mountain onto the battlefield tapped. Then we'll go to my end step and my commander will trigger. Uh, first thing, I will draw a card. Then we can do the land thing. I will not. Yes, I'm gonna play a land. Battlefield Forge. I wanna do the land thing. I will play a forest. I will not do the land thing. And you will do the draw thing. I will. All right, that was my end step, so go ahead. I will untap all these lands. Then I will upkeep and draw. I will play Care Keep, which is a legendary land, and that will make the dog a 5-5. Five five. They grow up so fast. Then I am going to tap my Battlefield Forge and Care Keep to cast a Boros Signet. Then I am going to pay five mana using everything except the treasures that I have available to play Elspeth Resplendent. Elspeth Resplendent is a legendary permanent, so when she enters the battlefield, Yoshimaru will go up to being a 6-6. Six -six. You're really holding on to those treasures. Oh yeah. <laughs> Elspeth comes in with five loyalty counters on her, but I'm going to immediately tick her up to six and I'm gonna choose Yoshimaru, giving Yoshimaru a 1-1 counter and a flying counter. That makes Yoshimaru a 7-7 seven, seven with flying. <laughs> the dog that could fly. Then, Arthur. Yes. I'm finally gonna use your treasures. Yeah! You're gonna love this. I'm going to cast Flaming Fist. Oh, okay. no. <laughs> oh. Huh. I guess the silver lining in this dog-filled sky is I will draw a card from Vazi's trigger. <laughs> yes, you will. <laughs> Thank goodness. And also, my commander gives a 1-1 counter to a creature. Jordan, I want to make your dog bigger. Let's put another counter on that flying dog. Arthur, you realize I'm going to kill you with this dog. <laughs> <laughs> it's already big, why not bigger, right? Because I feel like it might make the difference. I'm gonna block anyway, so it's fine. You have a fire? I can untap Birds of Paradise. Oh yeah, yeah, I guess that's true. I'm just gonna give it another counter and hope for the best out here. All right, that's yeah. the most insane thing I've ever heard. <laughs> right? But you're allowed to make that decision. <laughs> So finally, Flaming Fist will enter the battlefield, which will put one more counter on Yoshimaru Ever Faithful, making him a 9-9. Then I am going to move to combat, and I will attack Rograk, Yoshimaru, and Kithian at Arthur. Okay. All three, huh? Flaming Fist will trigger, giving Rograk and Yoshimaru double strike. Ooh. 
Oh my god. Well, I gotta do this to not die. I'm gonna float a mana. I will activate my Quarian Ranger. Yep. Bounce this forest to hand. And I'm gonna untap my Birds of Paradise. Okay. And then I'm gonna put Birds of Paradise in front of your flying Yoshimaru. All right, Birds of Paradise dies. <laughs> it sure does. <laughs> That is a hunting dog. <laughs> yeah, it dies pretty emphatically. Then you will take two damage. I'll take two. Go into 33. Okay, well, that was a decidedly underwhelming enormous Yoshimaru attack. But at the end of that combat, because I attacked with Kithian and two other things, Kithian will exile and come back as Gideon Battleforge. Ooh. He's been forged in battle. When he enters the battlefield again, it will put another counter on my very good boy, Yoshimaru making him a 10-10 flying. Uh, then I'm going to tick him up one, putting Gideon at four loyalty. Then I will choose to make Yoshimaru indestructible until my next turn and untap him. Very nice. Then I will pass the turn. Okay, I'll untap and draw for turn. Um, okay, I'm in a tough spot. I'll, I'll start off with Forest and just immediately follow it up with an Azarius Predation. Would you like to pay for Esper Sentinel? No, go ahead. I need all the mana I can get right now. Azarius Predation, huh? Well, that's gonna wipe my board. So I will respond by casting a Defy Gravity. Okay. I will crack treasure to pay for the Esper Sentinel. <laughs> <laughs> I'll target my Windrider wizard, but more importantly, I will draw a card and then discard a card. Okay. Okay, that's my only response. All right, how many creatures do you guys have? I've got three. I've got two. I have two. All right, seven beasts have entered the battlefield. Okay, some fighting happens. One of them will die because Yoshimaru is huge. Yes, it comes at Yoshimaru and Yoshimaru is like, bark, 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 <laughs> and it dies. All right, both my creatures die. My scheming fence dies. My commander bounces off the beast. <laughs> and Rograk and Esper Sentinel die. Rograk will go to my command zone. Esper Sentinel will go to my graveyard. Oh yeah, as far as I see, there's only one thing left to do, and that's go to combat with my Ragavan here. Mm -hmm. yep. Rachel, two of you. Yes. I will take two and go to 33. On combat damage, Ragavan triggers, and can you exile top card of your library? All right, I will exile this island. That is not... <laughs> <laughs> what I wanted. Not a spell. So I will make a treasure. Yep. And second main, I'm gonna activate Vazi. And because I've made a treasure token this turn, Jamie, I'll give you one treasure. Thanks. That's very sweet of you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> and then I'm gonna activate Quirion Ranger, returning this forest to my hand. And I'm gonna untap Vazi. And then I'm gonna activate Vazi once again. And Jamie, I'm gonna give you another treasure. Oh my gosh, uh -huh. I have a generous benefactor. <laughs> and that's all I got, I'll pass the turn. All right, I will untap and draw. I'll play an island. And then I'll play an Archmage Emeritus. Oh boy. I can draw some cards. Uh, and then I'll cast Consider. Very considerate of you. And that's gonna trigger the Archmage. So I'll draw a card. The value. That's sweet. Then Consider will resolve. And I'll look at the top card of my library. I'll put it into my graveyard and I will draw. And then I think it's important I have open mana, so I will pass. Okay, I will untap, I will draw a card. I'll play a deserted beach. Ugh, I love a nice beach. I have things in my hand that can deal with some stuff, but they sure cannot hurt the dog. I've done it again. Know. I've become arch enemy before I actually have the ability to kill anybody. You literally oh. have the ability to kill anybody next yeah. turn. Yeah. I'm probably going to be dead. I mean, Arthur does have 24 power in beasts alone right that's now. That's true. I could draw Arthur cards. Why would you do that? Yeah, I think that's just my move here. I'm going to play a Fathom Mage. Um, what does that do? Uh, it's a 1-1 with Evolve, and whenever a plus one plus one counter is put on it, I may draw a card, mm. friendo. <laughs> <laughs> I pick up what you're putting down. <laughs> then I will sack one of my treasures to play Kiora's Follower. Ooh. Before anything happens, Vazi will trigger. Yeah, I will give your Fathom Mage a plus one encounter. I feel like you're the one doing the negotiating here, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Still draw a card. I'm doing what I can. You will draw that card. I will get a counter for the Fathom Mage, which means that I will draw a card. Well, let's see. Did you draw something good? No. Rachel, are yeah. you sitting on a thing that you're planning to use to remove the dog that is making <laughs> all my posturing meaningless? I have I have one option for the dog. Okay. <laughs> Will I use it to save either of you? Probably not. If it comes at me, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> That's the sense I had of the table. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a doggy dog world out there. I do have a spell in my graveyard that can give target creature flying. 
That I could consider using to save one of you guys. Understood. Given the situation that we're in, I just need to save the cards in my hand. So I'm going to go to my end step. We'll do the uh, commander trigger. Mm -hmm. First I'll draw a card, then we can all choose to put a land into play. I will. It's this mana confluence that I love. I'm not gonna put a land into play. I'll put a fresh forest into play. <laughs> that forest is anything but fresh. <laughs> yeah. I will not do the land thing. All right, Jordan and Rachel, you will both draw a card. Oh boy. Here we go. That was my end step, so Jordan, go ahead. All right, untap, upkeep, and then I will draw. I am going to replay Rograk, son of Rogak. Interesting. Read resourceful and defense, sir. Whatever. When a permanent you control leaves the battlefield, if it had counters on it, put those counters on target permanent you control. Okay. In response to Rograk, so you can't put all those counters immediately onto him, I will cast Rapid Hybridization targeting Yoshimaru. Ooh. Oh, come on. That will trigger my Archmage Emeritus and I will draw a card. Okay, in response, I'm going to play a Flawless Maneuver for free. Very oh. good. Because I have my commander, which yep. will grant all of my creatures indestructible until mm -hmm. end of turn. That'll do it. Pretty good. And I will make a 3-3 Frog Lizard. All right, well, could have gone better. Uh, okay, Rograk then resolves. Rograk resolves, putting me up to 10. Then, as my land drop for turn, I'm gonna play Flagstones of Trocare, mm -hmm. which is a legendary land and is going to put another counter on Yoshimaru. It's growing. That now means there are 11 counters on Yoshimaru. Mm -hmm. And he is a 12-12 with flying. So next, I am going to tick up Elspeth Resplendent, targeting Yoshimaru to put another counter on him. So there are now 12 counters on Yoshimaru, making him a 13-13. And I will also give him lifelink. Then I'm gonna move to combat, and Arthur, Yoshimaru yep. is coming at you. Flaming Fist will trigger, giving Yoshimaru double Ooh. strength. Which means that he is basically going to be 26 damage coming at you in the air. Yeah, uh, I don't have anything in hand. Anyone have uh, anything they wish to use? Where's Jimmy? He's usually so punctual. Yeah. Hey! Sorry about that. I was just uh, getting my deck together. Or most of it. But that's just a really big stack of envelopes. Ah, I prefer to think of it as pre-sleeved. Well, where's your commander? Um, let me check. Tracking says he's in shipping label created. <laughs> Jimmy, you really gotta use Card Kingdom. They send all of your cards in one convenient package. No dealing with tons of envelopes or wrangling all those tracking numbers. And Card Kingdom's shipping is super fast, so you can be sure you'll have that new deck ready before your next game night. And if anything ever goes wrong with an order, their customer service always goes above and beyond to fix it. All right, that settles it. I'm using Card Kingdom from now on. But for now, is everyone ready to play? Uh, I mean, I guess. Do you even have a keepable hand? Hang on, I gotta shuffle. Get your cards in one safe, easy package with Card Kingdom. When you go to cardkingdom.com slash command, you can support the show while shopping from Card Kingdom's huge selection of singles, sealed product, and more. Again, that's cardkingdom.com slash command. Deep within the jungles of Ixalan, a primal hunger awakens. Oh, hi, everyone. I'm Galta, and let me tell you, I am one hungry, hungry dino. Now that it's warm out, I'm always on the go, which means I'm working up a bigger appetite than ever. Thankfully, I have Factor to help me power up for springtime. Factor delivers chef-crafted meals that are ready to eat in just two minutes, perfect for those ancient cravings that just can't wait. That means no more trips to the grocery store and no more picking up expensive takeout. Plus, with over 30 nutritious meals each week, including options from keto to protein plus, they always have tons of delicious choices to devour, like their scrumptious herb-crusted chicken. And since each meal is dietitian approved, they're sure to keep you energized from immortal sunrise to immortal sunset. Factor really is the dino might way to fuel your dino might. <sighs> Head to factormeals.com slash command50 and use code command50 to get 50% off your first box. That's code command50 at factormeals.com slash command50 to get 50% off your first box. All right, I play Stubble Vision. I think it's actually Double Vision? Okay, well then I'm gonna cast Scruffy Doll. That's Stuffy Doll. Well, I'm gonna play Faceless Shaven. Okay, it's Faceless Haven, I get it. I haven't shaved in a while, okay? I just hate using my crappy old razor. 
Oh, you know what you need to try? The new Beard Hedger Pro Kit from Manscaped. It's the perfect way to tame your rampant growth. Their cordless trimmer has a rotary wheel that gives 20 different beard lengths, all with just one guard. And it's waterproof, so you can even use it in the shower when you're in a rush. Plus, they've got everything you need to keep your beard healthy. Their shampoo and conditioner are designed to moisturize and reduce ingrown hairs, while the beard balm and oil can relieve dry skin and add some shimmer and shine. That sounds good to me. I guess in that case, I'll cast Jace the Manscaper. <laughs> Counterspell. But Josh, the bit. So get 20% off and free shipping with the code extra turns at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use code extra turns. The Manscaped Beard Hedger. One stroke, one guard, 20 links. Arthur, 26 damage coming at you in the air. Yeah, uh, I don't have anything in hand. Anyone have uh, anything they wish to use? Even a measly treasure <laughs> activation. Hang on. <laughs> okay. So if I give if I give your Quirion Ranger flying, yeah, those beasts will go his way. Yes. All right. Well, before blockers, okay, yeah. I will crack this treasure for a blue to flashback defy gravity, targeting the Quirion Ranger. And then I have a card draw trigger. I also have a card draw trigger. Before either of those triggers resolve, it's I'm gonna respond and I'm going to chaos warp the Quirion Ranger. Oh no. Not good. Yeah? Okay. All right, I've done what I can. How Here many we go. natural flyers are you running? <laughs> what do we got? What do we got? A Golgari rock farm! Bounce oh, that for us! Get that forest back in your hand. <laughs> All right, I'll return this mountain to my hand. I do have a Vazi trigger now. I will put the counter on your fathom wage. <laughs> now I have a draw trigger, and I will do that. And then I will draw from the Archmage on test. Still before the dog actually hits anyone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I play Prismari Command. Ooh. The modes okay. that I'm choosing are Arthur, you are going to draw two cards, then discard two cards, and I think you're the most likely person to find an instant speed answer. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm gonna choose for me to make a treasure token. <laughs> okay. okay. You guys really like Arthur. I will draw a card, and I will be putting a plus one counter onto your Fathom Mage, so you will draw a card. This is collusion! <laughs> no, it is negotiation. <laughs> lovely, lovely. Man. <laughs> ah! Now I will draw two, and I will discard a mob rule and a forest. Anything else you want to do with that treasure? <laughs> More cards? You're not gonna believe this. No. But maybe. <laughs> We're digging here. <laughs> I'm gonna sack my treasure to cast Artifact Mutation. <laughs> Think this is just going after Jordan's Arcane Signet. You make me sad, Jamie. Trigger, Fozzie, <laughs> plus one counter onto Fathom Mage and I will draw yet one more card. Okay, <laughs> I will draw yet another card to replace the cards I keep spending <laughs> trying to help you. Uh, the Arcane Signet will get blown up. Goodbye, Goodbye. sweet Signet. I'll get two 1-1 one, one green sap early. Well, it's been a stack. I do have one more thing. And no! This is just the end of the road as far as I can tell, but I will be paying two mana for a Benefactor's Draft, and I will draw one more card. That won't do it. K.O. That's a, that's a K.O. Yes! <laughs> Dog death! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, because Yoshimaru has lifelink, I am going to get 26 life off of that. That's too much. Which will put me at 59. Ugh. I'm going to tick up Gideon to five. Yes. So that I can target Yoshimaru and make him indestructible until my next turn. Right. Well, my position feels decent right now. <laughs> Pass the turn, go ahead, Rachel. Oh God, okay, here we go. Draw. Well, we're definitely gonna do this. I will cast Gadwick the Wizened, where Ooh. X is one. Nice. So I will draw one. It is relevant to tap the dog. I don't like that none. Stop that dog from but killing him. But then he can move everything to Rograk. Resourceful defense is still a situation. I can attempt to have there not be a Rograk by the time his turn starts. All right, mm. that's something. Pass to you, Jamie. Uh, I will untap all these lands, and I will draw my card. I'm gonna play this snow-covered mountain, and I'm going to cast Mana Cannons. Oh! Pretty good. And then I'm going to cast Joira Weatherlight Captain. Mm-hmm. Okay. That is a two-colored spell, so I am going to send two damage at Rograk. Poor, poor Rograk has done nothing. He only wants to live up to his father. 
Okay, I'm going to play Catilda Dawnheart Prime. Mm. That is a two colored spell as well. So mana cannons will trigger and I will send two damage at Elspeth. Okay, Elspeth goes down to five loyalty. It is also a historic spell, so Joyra will trigger and I will draw a card. Now Catilda also says that humans I control have the ability to tap for one mana of any of their colors. So uh, I'm gonna tap my mana confluence for one more, putting me to 37. And I'm gonna play Rashmi Eternity's Crafter. She is a historic multicolored spell, so I'm gonna send two more mana cannons damage at Elspeth and I'm going to draw a card from Jora. Elspeth is down to a measly three loyalty. The dog's untapped, so combat is bad. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna go to my end step and my commander will trigger. So I will draw a card. I will not be putting a land into play. I won't put a land into play. Jordan, any land for you? No, I'm gonna draw. I will draw a card. Okay, that was my end step. Jordan, you're up. All right, untap. Here we go. <laughs> and then go to my draw step and draw a card. I'm just gonna play an Erd Mesa for turn and then I'm going to crack it and get myself a land. I will take one damage going down to 58 and I will find a sacred foundry, which I will have into the battlefield untapped, paying two life, going to 56. Careful with your life total, Jordan. I know, Yeah. I don't want to <laughs> overuse my life total, you know? And then I will minus three Elspeth. That means I get to look at the top seven cards of my deck and I have to get a permanent with mana value three or less. And that will be Lauren of the Third Path. She will enter with a shield counter, which I will represent <laughs> with the shield side of this game knight's coin. When Lauren enters the battlefield, I am going to kill mana cannons. Sure. Then, because she's legendary, it's also gonna put one more counter on Yoshimaru, making Yoshimaru a 14-14 flying lifelink. All right, I will move to combat. At the beginning of combat, I am going to cast a Saloon Division. Oh. Ooh. Which will trigger Gadwick and the Archmage Emeritus, and I will attempt to tap down your dog. Oh, you're gonna be able to do that like every turn. Okay, yeah, that is going to resolve and it will tap down Yoshimaru. Rachel, uh, I appreciate you. Yeah, look, <laughs> we can't be friends forever, but uh, yeah, we when it comes to a giant dog, <laughs> we're besties. Yes. And then I will draw a card off of Archmage Emeritus, mm -hmm. and then I will resolve the Solon Division. I will reveal a Thirst for Knowledge. The rest go on the bottom of my library in a random order. Okay, all right. So no attacks, but in my second main phase, I will cast Acacia's Welcome. Then I will take Gideon up to six, targeting Yoshimaru, which will untap him and make him indestructible until my next turn. And then I'll pass turn. All right. I will untap and draw for turn. I'm going to play a Blink Moth Nexus as on my land for turn. Oh. And then because I have more than eight instants and sorceries in my graveyard, I will cast Octavia for just two mana. When she enters, it triggers Gadwick and I will tap the dog. It is so tapped. Uh, I will pay two mana and I will cast a reality chip. Ooh. Oh wow. That'll trigger Gadwick and I will tap the frog lizard. It is tapped. Then I look at this. Okay. Uh, I will go to combat. And now with only the two one untapped, I will send Gadwick at Gideon. Gideon will take three, going down to three. And then I will move to my end step. I will discard a think tank. And that's it, pass the turn. Okay, I will untap. I will draw a card. So I'm going to cast Linvala, Shield of Seagate. That's a fire. She is a historic spell, so I will draw a card from Jaira Weatherlight Captain. Arashmi will trigger, I'll reveal the top card. There's an exotic orchard, we'll go into my hand. And then I'll play the exotic orchard as my land for turn. You got it. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna play Coma, Cosmo Serpent. Uh. That is a historic spell. So I am going to draw a card. When Coma enters the battlefield, finally my Fathom Mage will trigger again because something bigger than it has shown up. It will evolve into a 6-6 six, six, and I will draw a card. And then uh, I will take one from the Mana Confluence going to 36 in order to cast a Rip Apart, choosing to destroy target enchantment, which will be resourceful defense. Yep, that gets it. All right. It ripped apart your defenses. Yeah. I don't think attacking is in my best interest right now. Mm -hmm. I'm worried about Octavia. Uh, so we're gonna go to my end step. My commander will trigger. Okay, in response to that trigger, I am going to nice. tap two and tap care keep to make a zero one kobold. Mm -hmm. When that kobold enters the battlefield, Takesha's welcome will trigger and I will draw a card. Okay, now we will start resolving my commander's trigger. First thing that will happen is I will draw and we can choose to put lands out. I will do so. It's a command tower. Jordan, are you putting a land out? No, I'm gonna draw. And Rachel? 
I will do the land thing. I'll put a lonely sandbar into play. All right, I will pass the turn. Okay, I will untap. Then in your upkeep, I will get a coil. Then I will draw for turn. Oh, I hate Coma so much. I mean, yeah. I am, of course, willing to help you try and get through on Jamie's board. Anything we can do to have him sack coils does something. Yeah. Like only three turns, so can he's you not tap making. Coma? Uh, I could tap Coma. Obviously, unless, as long as you don't sound the dog at me. Dog will not be coming at you this turn right. if you tap Coma. I am okay. very curious why tapping Coma. Yeah, Coma is the issue. That's, That's sort of interesting. I'm going to pay one. <laughs> and play Shadow Spear, which will enter the battlefield and put a 1 1 counter on Yoshimaru, ever faithful, putting him up to 14. Okay. Now you should tap Kama. I will cast Thirst for Knowledge. So I will draw off the Archmage Emeritus trigger, and then I will attempt to tap Kama. Okay, I have no responses. Kama becomes tapped. Okay. Let me resolve my thirst. I kind of want to do this before okay. you have any more cards in hand. Okay. Just because. I cast the Wandering Emperor, mm. which will enter the battlefield with three counters on it. <laughs> okay. So I will take it down to one, and then I'm going to exile Coma. I'm going to tap my Curious Follower to untap Coma. God damn it. Oh, he got you good. Yeah. You don't have anything else to do? You didn't let me draw first. <laughs> yeah, well... <laughs> I shoulda. And the Wandering Emperor's ability fizzles. Ugh. When the Wandering Emperor enters the battlefield, I will tick up Yoshimaru again, so he is now a 16-16. My Thirst for Knowledge will resolve, and I will draw three cards and discard two islands. Okay, I will tick up Gideon one to four, and I will make Yoshimaru indestructible. All right, move to combat. At the beginning of combat, I'm going to sack a coil to tap Yoshimaru. He is tapped. Okay, Rachel, I pass the turn to you. All right, I will untap and draw this. Uh, in your upkeep, I will get the coil back. I will play a land for turn. I'm gonna pay six mana and cast a Spectral Deluge. I will draw a card with Archmage Emeritus and I'll tap Koma. Koma becomes tapped, and then what is the Octavia trigger? I will target the reality chip. Okay, I guess I'll respond to that Octavia trigger. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna sack the Coma's coil mm -hmm. to tap down and make it so the reality chip's abilities can't be activated this turn. Okay, it is tapped and no longer has abilities, but it is an 8-8. <laughs> I have no more responses to the spell. I'm gonna respond by tapping Lorne of the Third Path. And I will choose you, Jamie. I'll draw a card. I will also draw one. Okay, Spectral Deluge resolves. Uh, I get everything except my commander back to my hand. Lauren goes back to my hand and the Kobold and Frog Lizard just disappear into the ether. All right, I will go to combat and Jamie, I will send an 8-8 Octavia your way. I will not block. All right, eight commander damage. Okay, I will take eight, going to 28. That's all I can do this turn, I will pass. Okay, I will untap. Mana has suddenly become the problem, and then I will draw for turn. I mean, Rachel's the threat now, right? Rachel is a threat, but if I let you stick a coma, my game is done. A tough line for me to walk. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to send my commander at the Wandering Emperor. The Wandering Emperor dies. Uh, in my second main, I'm gonna cast the Supreme Verdict. Oh, wow. Uh, your dog is indestructible, so this is not an act of aggression against you, Jordan. Oh. Ooh. Just me, then. Just you? Boy, Gideon has done some work this game. Gideon's done a lot of work. Okay, I am going to put my commander back into the command zone. As will I. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll recast Coma, mm -hmm. Cosmo Serpent. There's that Coma. Uh, I will play a forest as my land for turn. And because it was such an all-star, I will tap for two and recast the Kiora's Follower, mm -hmm. uh, taking one from the Mana Confluence, putting me to 27. I'll go to my cleanup step and I have to discard three cards. All right, I will untap and go to my upkeep. In your upkeep, I will make a coil. Yep, and I will draw for turn. Okay, I'll play Lazelle, Vlakis Champion, cause she's a legendary, which will put a counter on something, but then put one extra counter, which will actually put my dog up to 17 counters, which makes him an 18-18 flying lifelink who can't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> um, then I'll play my land for turn, which is in a Ganjo castle. It is legendary, so it'll put two more counters on Yoshimaru, making him a straight up 2020 flying lifelink. You can almost drink. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna move to combat. At the beginning of combat, I'm gonna sack my Comus Quail and tap down the dog. Uh, he's tapped down. In that case, I'll just tick up Gideon Battleforge. 
up to five and I'll untap my dog and give him indestructible until my next turn. And when I tick up Gideon, Lazelle actually means that he gets one extra counter and goes up to six. So now I can finally ult him <laughs> with his zero ult that just turns him into a six six. Great. Then I will pass the turn. On your end step, I will cast a thirst for meaning. I will draw three and I will discard a floodgate and a ghostly pilferer. Okay, I will untap and go to my upkeep. All right, in your upkeep, I will make a coma's coil. All right, I will draw for turn. I will play a land for turn and then I will recast Octavia for four. Yep. Then I am going to cast a Thieving Skydiver and I am going to kick it and I am going to have to steal that Shadow Spear from you. Oh no! <laughs> oh, I'm ruined! Look, I appreciate you not killing me with it, but also I can't trust you with it either. <laughs> And from there, I will have to pass the turn, unfortunately. At the end of your turn, I'm going to channel Sokinzon, Crucible of Defiance, mm -hmm. uh, which will make me two 1-1 one, one colorless spirit creature tokens. Mm -hmm. Those will enter the battlefield, triggering Tokaja's Welcome. I will draw a card. Okay, untap this beautiful lamb situation. In your upkeep, I am going to cast plagiarize. I will target Jamie. Okay, yeah, nothing I can do about that. I have an Octavia trigger. I will target the Thieving Skydiver. So it will be an 8-8, eight, eight, uh, excuse me, a 9-9 nine, nine with the Shadow Spear until the end of your turn. Still in my upkeep, the Coma Coil gets made. Uh, I will go to draw a card. <gasps> Except for I, I will copy your homework. Uh, okay, I'll play Rada, Heart of Keld. Mm -hmm. I can look at the top card of my library and I can play lands from the top of my library. So I'll yep. have a look. I will play it. It is a Misty Rainforest. Sweet. And then I'm going to recast Linvala Shield of Seagate. Mm -hmm. And I think I just want to sit on the rest of the cards in my hand for a turn that I'm allowed to draw them. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> so uh, I don't have my commander, so I'm just going to pass turn and nothing will trigger. At the end of your turn, I will activate Care Keep to make an 0 1 Kobold, mm -hmm. which will trigger Takesh's Welcome and draw me a card. Nice. Then I will untap. In your upkeep, I will get one more coil. Not good. All right. I will draw for turn, and then I'll pay one for a soul ring, and then I'll make another kobold token. So I will draw another card from Tokesha's Welcome. All right, I will play a mountain as my land for turn. Uh, I will move to combat. At the beginning of combat, I will sacrifice a coil to tap down the dog. Yep. Uh, he's a sleepy dog. And then I'll take Gideon up to eight, thanks to Lazel adding an extra counter onto him. Up to 62. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Untap Yoshimaru, ever faithful, and I will pass the turn. All right, I will untap. On your upkeep, I will make a coma coil. Mm -hmm. We'll draw for turn. All right, we will play a Cephalid Coliseum as my land for turn. I certainly have threshold. I'm going to cast a portent, which is slow ponder. That triggers Octavia. I will make Thieving Skydiver an 8-8. I'm gonna choose to shuffle, and then I will draw it on Jamie's upkeep. Then we're going to cast a Cephalid Face Taker. Oh. So I will go to combat, and I'll have it be a copy of Rada. Okay, uh, also in beginning of combat, yes. I will sack a coil to tap down the Thieving Skydiver. Yes, it is tapped. Okay, so this is a Rada, so I can look at the top card of my library. I'm going to pay blue and sacrifice the Cephalid Coliseum to draw three cards and discard three those and this second main phase i'll play a ledger shredder mm, pretty nice okay then i will pass okay at the end of your turn i will crack the misty rainforest okay you got it going to 26. i will search my library for a forest or island and I will choose the Spara's Headquarters, which will enter the battlefield tapped. Uh, I will untap. In my upkeep, I will get a coil. And I draw a card from my portent. Okay, well then, I will draw. Okay, I'm gonna cast Tome of the Guild Pact, my signature card. Nice. I'm going to play out this Joyra Weatherlight Captain again. Trigger Tome of the Guild Pact, I will draw a card. That's the second spell you've cast this turn, so that'll trigger Ledger Shredder. I will connive. You nice. shall. I will discard a land so it won't get a counter. 
I will play an Arcane Signet that is historic, mm -hmm. so I will draw a card. Uh, I have not played a land yet this turn, so I will play this overgrown farmland. And then I will play the Catelda Donhart Prime. That triggers both Joyra and my Tome of the Guild Pact, so mm -hmm. I will draw two cards, and I will cast Rien, Angel of Rebirth. Mm -hmm. uh, on cast, that will again trigger both Joyra and the Tome of the Guild Pact, so I will draw two cards. Okay, I am going to end my turn. On your own step. I am going to cast a March of the Swirling Mist, exiling a Thought Scour and paying one. And I'm going to target the Linvala, the Rien, and Coma. I'm buying you a window. Hmm. Okay, in response, I'm going to sack the Linvala to give my board hexproof. And I will activate the Shadow Sphere to you do get have rid that. of their hexproof. You do have that on board trick. Yeah. <laughs> now, I did sacrifice it before mm -hmm. that spell resolved, yep. which means that Rien was around at the time that I sacrificed it. Yep, she was so, back to hand. Uh, this was actually in my end step, so I will get Linvala back in Jordan's end step if I am alive. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. There is an Octavia trigger. I will make Cephalid Face Taker an 8 8. Okay, You're that up, is what I got. Oh boy. I have done what I can. <laughs> All right, I will untap everything on my board. Draw. First thing I'm going to do for turn is move to combat. Big dog, fly at Jamie. The dog will ride again. Flying life dog. Here he come. When he attacks, he becomes a double striker because of flaming fist. So that's 40 damage, commander damage to your face, Jamie. <laughs> yep. And then I will die to a giant dog <laughs> that I really thought I could stave off <laughs> for maybe, I don't know, seven or eight more turns. <laughs> there were so many coma coils. <laughs> okay, and then I gain 40 life, going to 96. No problem. Uh, in my second main phase, I'm going to play Lauren of the Third Path. Mm -hmm. uh, destroying my Shadow Sphere. No! <laughs> sure. Come back to me, Shadow Sphere. When uh, Lauren enters the battlefield, it will put two more counters on Yoshimaru, putting him to an absurd 22-22. And because Lauren of the Third Path is three CMC or less, I will draw a card off of Takeja's Welcome. Okay, I will tick up Gideon uh, by one, which will actually tick him up by two because of Lazel, which puts an extra counter on him. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I will untap Yoshimaru Ever Faithful mm -hmm. and make him indestructible until the end of turn. At which point, I'll pass turn. All right, I will untap and go to drop my card for the turn. And I'm going to cast Artful Dodge, targeting Octavia. I'll make the Cephalid Face Taker an 8 8. Uh oh. Then I will go to combat. And I am not going to turn Cephalid Face Taker into anything on the board because it will overwrite the 8-8. <laughs> so I will send 16 unblockable damage at you, Jordan. All right, that will take me down to 80. Jeez. Okay, that does it for me. I will pass. At the end of your turn, pay two and tap care keep to make another kobold. Mm -hmm. I will enter the battlefield and I will draw another card off of Takeja's Welcome. And then I will untap all these lands that I got and the things on the board and draw. All right, I'm gonna move to combat. Okay, mm I'm going to cast Giga Drowse and I'm gonna replicate it three times. Uh, so I can tap down three permanents. I will tap down your Core Haven, your dog, and Lauren. That triggers Octavia three times. I'll make these eight eights. Okay, pretty good. I'm just gonna move through combat. Okay. Nothing else going on there. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna play Austere Command, and I am going to target creatures with mana cost four or greater and less than three. Yep, that's not good. Then I'm going to cast Teferi's Protection. Interesting. Phasing out. That is your second spell for turn, so it triggers It is, so you get to connive. Okay, I will draw, and I will discard a Looter Ilkor, which will put a counter on Ledger Shredder. And then I will pay four to scry two with my Castle of Antris. Uh, I'll bottom both of those. And then I'm gonna cast this Brainstorm. So this is my second spell for turn, so this will trigger Ledger Shredder. I have no cards in hand, so okay. it won't do anything, but I will draw and discard this spell seeker, which would have probably been nice next turn, but that's okay. And then Ledger Shredder gets another counter. And then I will brainstorm. So I'll draw three. Uh, I will put these two lands back on top of my library. And brainstorm will resolve, as will your Teferi's 
protection. Okay, I'm gone. All right, Austere Command will wipe my board. Octavia will go back to the command zone. The Teferi's protection is exiled, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, go ahead, it's your turn. All right, I will untap. On my upkeep, I will scry two with Castle of Antris. I will bottom both of those and go to draw my card for the turn. And then I'll cast Chart of Course. Going to draw two and discard a deep analysis. All right, I will pass the turn. All right, I'm going to untap everything. Welcome back. Welcome back. I phase back in. In your upkeep, I'm gonna cast Resculpt, targeting Yoshimaru. Yup, that is a huge, huge problem. Ah! <laughs> oh God. <laughs> I'll activate Care Keep and make one more Kobold Lady, and I will draw a card. You're, well, you're almost tapped out. I have two mana up. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna activate Lauren of okay. the third path, and we both are gonna draw a card. All right, you and me. Mm -hmm. We'll draw one magic card. Yikes. All right. Dog die! <gasps> I didn't know we were allowed to remove the dog. <laughs> <laughs> All right, goodbye, my beautiful, beautiful set of tokens. Goodbye, my sweet, wonderful, goodest boy. All right, so I will get an elemental from the re-sculpt. Oh boy, I will draw for turn, and then I'm going to move to combat. Yeah. And I'm at least going to hit you with my two spirits and Lazel, Blacketh's champion. Uh-huh. So that's five damage coming at you. Okay, no blocks, I go to 28. <laughs> All right, and then I'm gonna play a Marius Call. Oh, so great. I'll create two four yeah. four white angel warrior creature tokens. Not good. So then I will replay Yoshimaru, ever faithful. Three mana. I know he's just a little what? Uh, one one now. He's he's a tiny little puppy. Bark bark. <laughs> As my land for turn, I will play Hall of the Bandit Lord, tapped. Mm -hmm. It is a legendary land, so that will put two counters on Yoshimaru. Nice. Uh, then I'm going to use Gideon Battle Forge, tick him up to 12 counters on him. <laughs> and I will make Yoshimaru indestructible. Yeah. And pass the turn. Okay. Untap. Uh, in my upkeep, I am going to once again pay four and activate the castle Bantress. You got it. Scry two. I will bottom both of those. And then I will draw for turn. I will play an island as my land for turn. Mm -hmm. And I will recast Octavia for six mana. All right, that's all I can do. I'll pass. All right, I will untap and draw and then Play a Sword of the Animist. Nice. Which is legendary, so that will put two more counters on Yoshimaru, making him a 5-5. Five, five. All right, I'll play Tavern Brawler, mm -hmm. which is also legendary, and we'll put two more counters on Yoshimaru. Okay, I am gonna equip the Sword of the Animist to Yoshimaru. Now he's an idiot. And then I will move to combat, and I'm going to attack you with Yoshimaru. I will also attack with both of these, the two angels. Mm -hmm. And Elemental's coming at you. He used to be the dog, now mm. he's fighting you. He's, yeah, still upset. Okay, on attack, the Sword of the Animist will trigger, and I get to search my library for a basic land. I will get a mountain. And Flaming Fist will, of course, give Yoshimaru his wonderful double strike. So it's 16 double strike. So I will go to 19 commander damage. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll bet big that you don't have a legendary with flash, <laughs> but oh. I will block the uh, elemental on the ground and have to take the rest. Okay, I, in response to blocks, will flash in Embercleave. There it is, oh. very good. Embercleave will attach the Yoshimaru Ever Faithful. Good dog, good dog. Bam, bam, bam. And give Yoshimaru double strike, even though he already had double strike. And that'll put two more counters on Yoshimaru as well. And that will make him an 11-11. And then I believe that does it. That's all I got, I am, I am all, all done. K.O. All right, great game, everybody. Peace. well done. Uh, good game. Good game. Good game. Good game. Good game. <laughs> woof, woof. Victory. <laughs> All right, good game, good job, dog. Good job, dog. Good dog. Good boy. Good, <laughs> good boy, dog. Yeah. No, Jordan pulled this one out. I couldn't. I couldn't believe that, that Yoshi got it in the end. Yeah. Uh, he was so big, and we were so afraid for so long. Yeah. So. Spot removal, everyone. Don't forget about it. You, you need it. <laughs> you really have to get rid of that dog every so often. I've died to Yoshimaru quite a few times now, so yeah, it feels bad. 
Cool game. If you saw any cards that you love in that game, you're like, I have to have it for my Yoshimaru deck, or I need a Rogue Rock to make my Yoshimaru huge, go to <laughs> cardkingdom.com slash command. They have some of the best selection in singles online uh, and in sealed product. Card Kingdom is where I go to buy a whole deck all in one place. You can paste in a deck list. You can pick exactly the versions of each card that you want, and then you hit ship, and it shows up on your door safe in one little package nice. ready to get sleeving. Uh, especially when I'm excited for a deck, I want to get playing it as early as possible, and I use Card Kingdom to make sure it all shows up at the same time mm -hmm. so I can get playing at my game night, not waiting for some stragglers to show up. So yeah. go to cardkingdom.com slash command for all of your singles needs uh they're the best they are the best indeed and when you get those cards sleeve them up keeping them protected head on over to ultrapro.com slash command you can find all the different themed sleeves deck boxes playmats and more whenever a new product comes out they usually ship stuff to local game stores and you can always pick up ultra pro product there but if you want a single place where you know a lot of the stuff is going to show up and you can get on it immediately ultrapro.com slash command that is their digital site to buy the stuff and there is a lot of stuff that comes out now with all these different magic products there's a good chance there's a piece of art from a secret lair or from an upcoming set that you really want to get that custom playmat for but you just can't find it around you ultrapro.com slash command might be your best bet they also have a great newsletter that tells you when there are new sales on uh, their site and even if you're like a baseball collector for cards, there's stuff for you there as well. So check it out if you've never been there before. It's a great website, got tons of stuff that can just get all the stuff. Again, one package to your doorstep, ready to sleeve up, ready to play, ready to go. Ultrapro.com slash command. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Hope you Big shout out to our editors that are putting it together back in the uh, other part of the office. We appreciate you all. We see you. We see you and we see your content. And we'll see you, the audience, soon. Bye-bye.